Hi, this is Linda Ruth from PSCS. It has become more difficult to do split tests on the newsstand, and it's kind of costly because you have to come up with two separate covers, and um, you have to stop the presses and do a split run. And some uh, there's so much consolidation in the newsstand that it isn't as easy as it once was to come up with such separate discrete groups, especially to control the size of your groups as much. Still, it's useful to do. And if you're going to go ahead and try a split test on the newsstand, here's what the way I'd recommend that you proceed. First of all, isolate your test element. Don't test two completely different different cover concepts. Because if you do that and you get the results back, you won't know what you were testing. Was it a light cover versus a dark cover? Was it a person versus a, a different kind of image? Was it all type versus, um, versus an image with type? There's so many things to test in a split test. And you're only going to want to test one at once in order to be able to identify what was going on. You also want to test a significant, significant group. And there's programs available that can tell you how big a group is significant for your circulation size. But just in general, it's important to know that the larger your newsstand distribution, the smaller, on a percentage level, your test group can be. If you've got several million copies going out, then a few percentage of that total distribution will be significant. You'll get a significant result in a newsstand split. But if you're only putting out 25 or 50,000 copies, you might have to split your run in half to get a really significant result. Set it up. Make sure that you clearly identify which is version A and which is version B. Believe it or not, I've worked with publishers who did a split, sent the copies out, got the results back, and when the results came back, there was no uh, no history of which cover, which elements were being tested as part of cover A and which elements as part of cover B. So the test was obviated. There was no no readable results. So make sure you've got on record um, which was your cover A and cover B and then go ahead and read the results and make decisions for going forward. It's good to repeat tests, it's good to back test, but even one test is a great way to get started. Good luck and I'll see you in some other videos.